So today we're on the Emperor Penguin Trail, which is in Doncaster. This is the first one. A nice that is. There's my lad again. We've all wrapped up today. This is called a winter trail. There's only 12 of these, so it shouldn't take us long. So I might talk through a few of them. But this is this is the first one. So there we go. Okay, this is number two, as you can see. I'll show you around it. Go all the way around it. And this will be a different video this time round. Just sort of, uh, you can see it. Oh, the sun's in my eyes now, I can't see anything. But there we go. It's another one, that's number two. There's only 12, so we should be long. Okay, number three, here we go, number three. Well, look at this here, this uh, gateway to this, uh, to Doncaster. She pegs on top of that brickwork, lovely. All right, that's number three. Okay, number four, not done too bad, but that's a nice one as well, number four. Let's give it a little bit of focus, there we go. There we go. Number five, this is a nice one, got a deer on it. Going in the picture again, in on the side. I don't know what's around the back of it. Let's have a look. Anything sweet now? Oh, yeah. Fox. There we go. Three went before I could show that, so there we go. There's a fox on the back. Good. Okay. We go halfway there now, number six. My lad's looking at the map. He's good. Hold on, stay there. Okay, number seven. This is not a night. This is in the shopping centre. Big horrible Christmas tree. Job done. Okay, number eight. We're nearly done now, we need four more to do. It's number eight. Number nine now, I think. Losing count as you do do, but look at this. As modern art goes, I quite like this. Sort of watering down. Names on it and steel. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's people walking past now. I'm just going to go all the way down. When they've gone past, I'm going to zoom more in and see if I can get a bit more of it. No. No, there's waterfall there. No. Wait, the waterfall's gone off. It was falling. This is pretty terrible bloody videoing, but who cares? That's what I see. Back to the penguin. Whoa. There we go. This is outside Doncaster train station, and I tell you what, I do like the, the clock and the name. Just nice clock. Yeah. 
Doncaster train station. Brilliant. Okay, we're on number 10. And it's just like it. Well, as you can see. Right, coming to the back of number 11. Got a winter wonderland scenery on the back of it. There you can see. So, oh, sun's got me. So I can't, I don't know, on video, but uh, there we go. That'll do. So, here we are, last one, taking us an hour and a half. So I'm just going to ask my lad what he thinks of the trail. Now he's uh, good on. So Alex, what do you think of the trail? Despite the fact it's very short, I really like what they, what they did with the map because it's set at pinpoints exactly where they are. It said they just show you like an area of where of the possibility of where they might be. I mean, uh, when you get to the area, you have to search around the area to find where it is. is. And I actually think it, I actually do think it's a good idea, especially if it's not too hard, it's not too hard to find it, uh, with the exception of the uh, the shopping centre. All right. But yeah, yeah, I actually do quite like the idea. It, yeah, it, yeah, I like to see it expanded into like a, into a, I like to see it like this idea used in a more, more bigger trail. Okay. Because like I, I mean, it's like tired those like s these trails where like they have big ones, small ones. It's just kind of it just gets boring after a while. But like here, they actually did an interesting idea, which mm. I quite like. Okay, and I was I quite I like Doncaster, the town centre. It was quiet and that it was nice. It's a really lovely trail. Well done. <laughs>